I'm back in the greenhouse and I'm actually going to start sowing some seeds now. The first that I want to do this morning is my sweet corn because that is my absolute favourite crop of all. Um, I've got um, 18 pots ready to um, fill with soil or compost and then sow. I also want to do my peas and possibly some of the beans. Um, normally you would start sowing them in April but it has been warm and I think although we're expecting a drop in temperature next week, um, the sun is much higher in the sky and the greenhouse traps that heat. Um, for instance today, I'm not quite sure what the temperature is outside, but in here it is 30.7. So I'm going to crack on and um, see how far I get. The thing I'm going to sow is my sweet corn. I've got 18 of these to fill. So I filled these pots up. And I've made a, a hole in the middle of each pot. I'm going to sow one seed in each. Now, sweet corn does need warm temperatures to germinate. So you need between sort of 17, 21 degrees for it to germinate. But it is so warm in here at the moment. Sometimes it can get ridiculously hot, especially in the summer, so you have to sort of consider creating some shade, ensure the plants are well watered early in the morning. So I should cover these up now and give them a watering. Oh, and of course label them. Always label your seedlings. Okay, these are all done now. I'm just going to give them a nice little watering. So the next crop I'm going to sow are my peas. These are Meteor. These are a main crop pea. So I filled those and I've lightly pressed down the soil because you don't want it too loose because when you water it, it'll just float to the surface with the seed as well. These are my seeds and I'm going to push them about two and a bit times their size in depth just push them in gently I've got 20 cells in this tray I will leave it a few weeks until we've got some shoots and then I will sow another 20 to give myself some successional sowing in other words you don't want to sow everything at once because it all matures at the same time and then you have a glut so what you want to do is you want to spread your harvesting period so if you sow them a few weeks apart when the first lot start to die off you're still harvesting from the next and so on I'm just covering these up. Give that watering and a label. So the next one I'm going to sow are my dual French beans. This is the amethyst and these are the ones that are um, little bush plants and they have purple pods but when you actually cook them they go dark green and they're delicious. So I've got a tray with six cells and I'm going to put two per cell um, and it does say on the packet that you can sow them now because you need at least um, 16 degrees centigrade if under glass or in a greenhouse which equates to about 60 Fahrenheit so um, the greenhouse is definitely that kind of temperature so that's the next, the next lot. a drink and label them up just like the others and then it's a case of waiting but I will revisit them all in about a week to 10 days to see what's germinated in here from today 
Let me know what you're sowing at the moment, whether you're sowing them directly into the soil or if you've got a cold frame or a greenhouse or on your windowsill in the kitchen. Just put it in the comments below. And while you're at it, if you haven't already, please subscribe. I'm trying to build my channel and I'm very grateful for all those that are supporting me. Right, I'm going to give those a watering and a label. So the next thing I'm going to sow are my runner beans. So these are the Scarlet Emperor runner beans. The ones I tend to grow every year. So I'm going to push them into the soil. That's double the depth of the size of the seed. So sow six to start with. And see what germinates because there's plenty of time if they don't all come up that I can sow some more. But in a small garden, I only need six plants. That's more than enough for me. So the final bean I'm going to sow today are the um, Climb the French Bean the Golden Gate, which are the flat yellow pods. I've got the white bean seeds. No, it's no secret. But these are my absolute favourite. I started these about three or four years ago. Oh, they were amazing. And I've grown them ever since. They're not as hardy, I would say, as the runner beans. They have picked up mosaic virus and they finished quite early. Whereas my runner beans carried on right into October until the weather really changed. Um, but these had sort of given up by about August. But for the short time that I'm harvesting them, oh, they're just lovely, really lovely. And you eat the whole pod. So if you haven't tried them, give them a go. So I've, I'm going to put, or have, put two per cell. Because I found they were a little bit trickier to germinate. So a bit of an insurance policy really. I'll just do a quick recap to show you everything that's in the greenhouse at the moment then. So broad beans and then the lettuce leaves, rocket and Lollaroso. These are nasturtiums. I've got peas, dwarf French beans, climbing French beans, cobra, runner beans, golden gate which are the yellow pod French climbing beans and sweet corn. So that's not a bad, bad day's work. I'm going to go and have a break now. Speak to you soon. Just checking in on my onions. Look at them. That's not bad, is it? I've only been in a couple of weeks. Some shoots on the red onions as well because they always take a lot longer to get going. The strawberries seem to have settled in nicely. I've made an executive decision that I'm actually going to sew my courgettes. Um, we're virtually in April now 
it's only days away and it's pretty mild in um, East Anglia uh, in the uh, beginning of May so I think they'd be okay in the greenhouse now I'm gonna I'm only gonna sow one per pot because I haven't got many seeds these are very flat seeds and the recommendation is that you grow them on their side and not flat or prevent them from rotting. So I'm going to plant them on their side. So this is the courgette zucchini. And I have got some like bubble wrap, so if I think it's going to be particularly cold at night, if there is a warning of any frost, then I can cover these seedlings up overnight just to protect them a little bit. And as you can see, I've potted on my tomatoes. So it'll give their roots a chance to spread a bit. And as soon as the roots appear at the bottom of the pots, then I will consider putting them into their final big containers. But they're manageable on the um, shelf in the greenhouse like this at the moment. Quick recap on these. This one is the Alicante. And there's Roma and Shirley.